Hey y'all, so it is the next day, or well, the next morning y'all, it's about, well it's probably almost 8 o'clock now, a.m. in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So as y'all see in my previous vlog, you guys, I went house hunting, did a little family vlog with the Walmart, different things like that, got some ice cream. But in this vlog, you guys, I want to talk to you guys about um, the backlash I get as being a diverse business owner i know a lot of you guys always ask me y'all inbox me i see your comments you know i might not respond but i see a lot of you guys comments on facebook TikTok, uh youtube all of that like how do you do it even on instagram how do you like deal with all this i know it's not easy and no it's not um how i deal with being a diverse business like this is not something that like let me see. How can I put it? This is not something that, like, just spontaneously, like, happened. Like, I just started. No. I, I wrote it down. Like, I always wanted to be a diverse business. I used to say that all the time. I said, I want to cater to everyone. I want to cater to um, my white sisters, my Hispanic sisters. I want to be a business that's diverse, that caters to everyone. So, um, when I figured out that, you know that black people was gatekeeping bonnets and we're saying that bonnets wasn't for um non-black sisters i was like no nah, that's wrong because um i saw actually i sold let me tell y'all the story i sold a bonnet to um a girl named ashley which is my friend now her name is ashley and she is white she worked with my sister and um Ashley bought a bonnet for me, and she was so happy. She inboxed me. She was like, girl, I'm so happy for this bonnet. It helps with my frizzy hair. My hair is not in a big poop ball. Um, my hair is not tangled. It helps on rainy days. Like, it just keeps my hair so much manageable. And I was like, hold on. This is the issue. I was like, I need to, you know, start selling to all my sisters. You know, so so many people don't know, especially my non-black sisters don't know that bunnies can help frizzing, this dryness, tangling, matting, um, can help even um have you can have less wash days with buns. Also help with also oily hair. So it's so many benefits, even skincare bunnies, it's so many benefits to wearing a bonnet. Side note. If y'all on here got like, girl, why are you wearing that mask? It is because I'm getting dental work done again, 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 and I don't want to scare y'all. I do not want to scare y'all with my mouth, and I'm not going to get on here and like, girl, I can't focus your mouth. Please go get fixed. <laughs> but anyway, I am um, I'm getting dental work done, but back to the video. But yeah, um... A lot of non-black sisters do not know that bonnets help with so many different things. There's so many benefits. Like, that's why I was like, man, I just want everyone to know. I want all my sisters to know. I don't, like, I'm the type of person, like, if, if I know something or if I got something that help, I want to help. Like, I would want you to do the same for me. Like, if you got something that can help me, please help me. Because, I'm, you know, I'll, if it's going to help my hair, look, tell me, you know anything to make anybody's life better i want to help so um when i started selling i'm talking about i'm getting so many like let me just say this too the good definitely outweighs the bad like i'm gonna have the negativity i mean it's come with even being an influencer it comes with being a, um a business owner everyone ain't gonna like what you're doing it's come with the territory but i get more hate because I stand up for what is right. Uh, I stand up for if, say for instance, my white sisters are getting bullied, I'm going to stand up and say, hey, it's wrong. And vice versa, if a black sister is getting bullied, I'm going to stand up. I just stand up for what is right. And when I see videos to say, oh, hey, girl, um, why is this white or this clear? I be seeing videos like this clear, girl. That's disrespectful. Why do you call, why would you call a, a white girl a clear girl? That's plain blankly like racism is hate. I just don't like it. So um, I try to treat people with respect and, you know, because listen, y'all, we living in a world, a whole bunch of hate is going around every day. And I want to use my business just to uplift 
and you know motivate and make a difference in the world i know they be like girl it's just hair it's just a bunny it's just this no it's more than that um so the backlash wise i get called a lot of names i get called like uncle tom i get called um uh you you um comments like you are um don't white people will never accept you they'll never accept you why are you doing all this girl you just trying to be a part of their group or like i said uncle tom is the main one i get called all the time um you girl you you sad you a sellout you uh selling out on your people and you just doing it to sell your bunnies different things like that listen like <laughs> It's not just, I be telling people, it's just not selling the bunny. It's a lot of hate that comes with this. Like, I get people that trying to shut my pages down, trying to report my pages. I get a lot of it. So, if I was just doing it just for the money, I wouldn't do it at all because I wouldn't want my page to be taken down. But I'd be risking it all just to make a difference, really. So, that's why it's like, I thank God for you guys. The people that's on here, my supporter, all my sisters that's on here that support me, that like my videos, that share my videos, to say, hey, girl, we with you, we standing with you, we following you on all your platforms. When we going to buy from you, we're going to support you and all of that. Like, it, it, it's not, And like I said, it don't even have to be buying from me, just to, to share and just to come in and say, hey, I love you. Um, I hope you go far or I love you. I thank God for you. And all that, like, I I thank God for the comments. Like, the, like I said, the positive definitely outweigh the negative. I say that a million times. Like, I get so many inboxes telling me, please don't stop what you're doing. Please, we need more people like you. You know, just comments of a good things. So, I definitely appreciate that. I definitely appreciate your love and the support, you guys. I definitely appreciate um, you guys, like, recommending people to me and telling them, hey, there's this girl on here. She said, but it's for everyone. Even with braids, you guys. I say braids for everyone. I'm going to stand on it. I don't think no culture owns a hairstyle, owns clothing, none of that. Because cultures are meant to be shared. If cultures are not shared, how would this world evolve? We are meant to share each, each other's cultures. Like, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with embracing um culture like i'd be like well they try to own it they trying to own no i never heard of white people say braids belong to them i never see that you know now braids were worn by so many people back then you know you just can't say they belong to us black people it just i mean it's just not black people took braids and made it their own and white people well my non-black sisters uh white people no matter what color they are they was afraid to wear it so um but that's another video but yeah i got a lot of hate y'all it's it's real the hate is real but the love is so real so um and i tell people all the time like how are we gonna get to heaven and we all gonna have to be in heaven there's no segregation there there's no blacks on this side whites on this side um the hispanics on this side it's none of that we all gonna be together in heaven you know it's no way that we can't love each other on earth and not going to love each other like them in heaven. We can't have segregation. It's not going to be no cultural appropriation in heaven. So I try to love like Jesus, y'all. I don't. I really don't care about the backlash. I give it to God, give it to Jesus, and I move on. I said, Lord, because he built me for it, y'all. I'm built for this, right? Like, backlash don't hurt me. I've been through too much, right, to let that hurt me and to let someone tear down what I built, what I stand for in my business. Because they said, if you, what they said, if you don't stand for something, you don't fall for anything. So this is what I believe in. This is what I stand for. I believe in unity. I believe in togetherness. I believe in that we need to come together, that this world, we are better together in a lot, you know, in a lot of things that are going on because we're so separated, we're so divided. You know, it's just a lot of hate going on. So I know that I might can't change everything, but I can use my business to make a difference and that's what i'm going to do not only that you know martin luther king died like literally died for us to come together he wanted and i say this quote all the time and i love this quote he said hey cannot drive out hate only love can so what i'm really trying to do is show love and show hey my my white sister girl get you some braids you want to get braids come on if i can help let's get these braids let's um 
Um, let me show you what you can use on your hair. Let me help you find your hair type. Let me show you how to make your life better. See, I mean, well, make your life even better. Like, if you want better hair, let me help you. You know, because you don't know what people are going through. Some people I give bonnets to, like, I would have never known. Like, it's so crazy. Um, some of my supporters be like, I was going through, I go through depression a lot. And I don't like to wash my hair. And I don't like to, sometimes it's hard for me to take care of myself. So, using this bonnet has help me have better hair and help me take better care of myself. Like he said, I I just come as like that. Like I won't even lie to you guys. Like if I put this stuff I would I'd be trying to put them up on the stream, but it's so many comments, y'all. But and so many comments like saying, Hey, I'm dealing with alopecia and the bunny is helping my hair grow back. Or I'm dealing with sensory issues and the bunny has helped me not pull out my hair, not snatch or pull out my hair. There's different things. Like, it's just a lot, y'all, that bunnies are helping so many women. And I wouldn't dare stop it because of the hate and the backlash. I'm going to be right here, 60 me hair, etc. Not race. Right, because y'all already know, y'all heard it here first. And I know a lot of people try to mimic me and try to say, now it's hair care, not, you know, it's hair care, hair care for everyone. But they doing it to, sit, you know, to make sales, um, to really for the money. But really, no one can do it like the way I do it, you know, because I'm built for it. And a lot of companies can't take the backlash. They can't take me, you know, how I come against people that's wrong. Because that's what I do. But um, I love y'all so much. And... It's going to always be heck and not race. It's going to always be, it's me ceasing y'all. I love y'all and I appreciate you guys so much. I'm praying abundantly for your families that God bless you guys, that God just rain on your families. And I pray that, you know, everyone that bought from me, I pray the bun it really be a blessing to you guys. I pray that, you know, it that you have healthy and beautiful hair. Um, that you if what issue you are dealing with, it goes away, you know, so I just want everyone to have healthy and beautiful hair and also spread the message, you know, of togetherness and unity. I can't wait because I do have merch coming soon as well. Also, you guys, my diverse hair care ebook. It is available. The link is in the bio, you guys. The book is only $30. And when I tell you this book is loaded with so much information, it's loaded for, with so much information like it's ridiculous like i can't even hardly get it out y'all but it's so helpful it has so many products in there i give so many tips i give i don't get you just like bunnets i don't get you anything in that in that ebook and also at the pay is available so you can get the uh book for what uh how much let's start it divided by four y'all twelve dollars and something I don't know y'all, but you get the ebook for about probably eleven dollars or something. I don't know y'all. I can't count eleven seventy five. I can't count y'all thirteen dollars. I can't count, but split that into four. You can get it for even less. Um, if you don't want to buy the ebook at the pay is available, y'all. So go cop the ebook. Go um get it. I promise you. That's not, hold on, y'all. That went $11 or so. That's like $9 and something. Your girl crazy. $9 and something, y'all. You can get the ebook for about $9 and some cent uh, when you use after pay. But uh, the ebook is loaded with different, I'm talking about so many different gems in there. Um, it's link is in my bio. For everyone that's looking for the bunny, it's the ebook. The link is in my bio. If you want to learn how to, um, make your digital products. If you want to learn digital marketing, I can help you with that too. For all my sisters that want to start a business that don't know, and you're really trying to figure out, hey, how's all these people on Instagram making all this money? How is they, um, you know, uh, creating a lifestyle for themselves just by selling digital, you know, selling digital products? I can teach you the strategy. I can teach you the consistency, and I can teach you how to make residual income, passive income. If it's something you want to learn, you need a strategy. The link is in the bio. It's where it's called um, Digital Marketing. You'll see my ebook about digital marketing, a digital marketing strategy. Get it, and you're going to thank me later. So, um, that ebook is, I think, only $50. Like, you getting a tons of lot of information for $50. Like, go get the ebook. I'm telling y'all. But, 
I want to say that I love you guys so much. I thank you guys for the love and the support. Like, it has been amazing. But that's how I deal with the, um, the backlash. I really don't care what anyone says. I, like, I've been doing this business for so long. And, I mean, it's going to always be you know, backlash, whatever you do. So, if you don't hear your business owner, um, look, stand 10 toes down on your business. Believe in your business. I don't care what no one say. Man, believe that what you're doing is going to make a difference. Believe what you're doing is a good product, no matter what someone say. Oh, that, 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 it's not going to work. Believe in it. Trust in it. Matter, matter of fact, most of all, trust God. Um, put him first. I tell everybody, put God first everything that you do because even on the hard days even when it get hard sometimes you need someone to lean on and that's gonna always be jesus and you're gonna always have him right there he's gonna he'll never see you wrong and i always tell people a good man the way the bible says as well a good man a good man steps are ordered by god so let him order your steps and put him first like he the answer, you know. I always tell people, I, I God, God built me for this, you yeah, know. Because I probably would have been gave up on the hate, but God built me for this. And I love what I did. Think about it, I love what I do. You know, I thank God for allowing me to, my business, to take care of my family and this and that. But most of all, I love what I do. I love what I do. And I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't stop doing it for the hate. I wouldn't stop doing it. Um... Just because someone called me names, it is what it is, you know. The most part, I know who I am, and I know what God says I am. So, it, it all, look, the Bible says all things work together for the good of them that love him, that are called according to his purpose, and I'm called according to his purpose. And I will not stop, you know, being the business that um, God want me to be, or what I, what I always envision for my business to be because of hate you know because of no you know they might not want everybody's not going to want to come together everybody going to still you know try to just say you know this and that but at the end of the day we are better together you know but we are better together so i love y'all thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for watching god definitely go check out the website the link is in the bio and now that i love you guys and remember to put god first and watch everything fall into place it's your girl see bye y'all love y'all